In this season of draft mode, we go back to the basics. The two best duelists at Nightmount, James and Pat, will be revisiting the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. Each episode, we will open 50 cards from either Legendary Mega Packs or Gold Series Packs. The minimum deck size is reduced to 20 cards, and the cards opened each set do not carry over. In addition, in order to level the playing field, the winner of each week will open one McDonald's promo pack, and they will have to play those cards in their deck. Therefore, the duel starts to rethink and revamp their strategy each episode. Welcome to Draft Mode Season 3. Legendary Collection 5. 5D's Mega Pack, released in North America on October 24th, 2014. This is our first foray into the Synchro era, and we are entering that era with a bang. This set contains some of the most well-known early Synchros. Some cards to look out for include Stardust Dragon, a powerful once per turn Omni Negate with Recursion, Red Dragon Archfiend, a boss monster that would go on to spawn many more remarkable Synchros, Effect Veiler, a staple hand trap to this very day, and Scrap Iron Scarecrow, a powerful battle trap that is easy to work around in a typical duel, but can be devastating in our limited format. But, looming large above everything else in this set is the Blackwing Archetype. Kings of the Synchro era for a long time, and an archetype that continues to see sporadic competitive play nearly a decade after its release. And now, let's get right into the polls. Alright, so here we are. After a big win last week, we're going to be opening 5 packs of 5Ds. There's some Synchro monsters in here. I'm not super familiar with Synchro. So I'm a little bit nervous going into this, but I do know it is rather difficult to get these Synchro Monsters out here. So we're going to see exactly what we can get. Alright, so first pack here. Okay, so Nordic Beast card, that's good. And an Earthbound Immortal, so that's pretty exciting to see as well. It's a little bit difficult to bring out. And we do have a couple of Black Wings here. That makes me rather excited to see some Black Wings here. So I'm hoping that that just kind of continues and we get more Black Wings. Otherwise, we're going to be in for a world of hurt. All right, next pack, Thought Ruler Archfiend. That's a really good one. Another Earthbound Immortal. So we might actually get quite a few of those. And we're seeing a couple of tuners up here. So Effect Veiler, that's great to see. I love to see Effect Veiler. It's going to be a really good hand trap in the uh, in the deck. As far as the rest of the cards go, not too exciting. I'm not going to lie, not going to lie. I'd rather see uh, Asla Piscu instead of Kusalu. I like Asla Piscu more, but we'll see what we end up getting. All right, next pack. Ooh, an Evil Thorn. If we get at least another one of those, that's actually not that bad. Um, other than that, though, the rest of this, I'm not super sold on. I don't even know. Why do we even have a Fusion Summon card? <laughs> that's not the best. That's not the best. Let's move on to the next pack. All right. So, Legendary Collection 5Ds Mega Pack. So, we're finally, for the very first time in draft mode, crossing over into an era where we have actual extra deck options. Um beyond just fusion monsters. Synchro monsters are in this set, and there's a lot of them. Uh, I mentioned earlier that, that black wings are in here, and I think that whoever, if someone's able to pull a competent black wing core, they're gonna win. I mean, black wings are just that good. Starting out first pack, I don't see any black wings. I also, I also noted that Earthbound Immortals are in here. Um, they're all super rares, so I'm actually kind of surprised to see one. Um, I don't think we're gonna be able to build a deck around it. I have no idea what um, Earthbound Immortals do. I actually have in my Yu -Gi -Oh, or my uh, YouTube watch later a uh, top 10 explaining um, Earthbound Immortals, so haven't watched that yet. Pack number two, we have Thor, Lord of the Aesir. I have no interest in playing the Aesir cards. We do have a Blackwing. Barrier Resonator, okay. Blackwing, Spell and Trap Support. Oh, okay, never mind. I was gonna say nothing jumping out, and then I noticed that Max C is here. Okay, Max C, tons of drop power. Let's go. All right, next pack. Okay, another black wing. Uh, an another stupid fusion card. We can't even play Majestic Star Dragon. We would need Stardust Dragon and some other card that I can't remember, but we don't have it. I can tell you that much. All right, this is our last pack here. Let's see what we can get. Ooh. Got a couple of interesting black wing cards here. I'm actually not that upset about this one. I, li I like the elf and the raven because basically, if we get another blackwing on the on the field, we can just special summon, or we can just normal summon this card um, without having to tribute for it, which is actually really nice. Like it's say a uh, level six monster on the field, so we just need something uh, like a level two tuner, which I'm sure we have, and uh, you know we could really be off to the races there. And I think it's gonna be rather difficult for James to get anything else out on the field that will be able to contest that. So 
we will bring this into dueling book and catch you guys there all right drill warrior more some more black wings uh, I'm, I'm just going to completely ignore the Aesir, the nordic cards that uh, don't really have any interest nitro synchron is nice i'm not super familiar with the early synchro era um I got into competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! just as Black Wings were on the tail end of being good. Fourth pack here, some more Black Wings support, that's nice. You're gonna need a lot more in the last pack though if you wanna do anything with it. Um, some more Earthbound Immortal stuff. Uh, again, ignoring Aesir's. All right, then final one. Okay, okay. So, Gale's a really good Black Wing card. So we've got some Black Wing cards, probably enough to play. We're definitely gonna be playing them, I think, but not enough to base our entire strategy around, especially since we don't have any of the synchro monsters. I am curious to see how many of these synchros we can use, because that's really going to be important in this match. Um, there's not a whole lot of main deck boss monsters in this in this set. It's really about the extra deck, um, as it will be for the majority of Yu-Gi-Oh! after this. So we'll see which synchros we can use, and then we'll work around that. See you guys in Deck Builder. Alright, so unfortunately we actually only had one playable Synchro Monster, it's Junk Destroyer, and it's going to be kind of difficult to get out with the level combinations that we have here in our deck, especially since we can't use other tuners for the, um, beyond the first. So, he, it is possible, we'll use Junk Synchron, preferably with Grinnell, or Tuning Wear, and one of our level 4s up here. That's going to be our best bet, but I don't think that we're going to be able to get that out reliably. It's not going to be our main win condition. Our main win condition, I think, is unfortunately going to be this Earthbound Immortal. It has to be normal summoned with two. Uh, with it's a two tribute monster, and I 100% need to have Savage Colosseum on the field. Not a great strategy, but it's something. <laughs> Yeah, not too pleased with what we pulled overall. We didn't pull enough Black Wings to build a good Black Wing core, and the ones that we did pull weren't that great outside of Gale. We didn't pull enough of the Nordic, or we pulled a few Nordic Alphars, but not the correct, you know, we got Thor, Lord of the Aesir, so we needed Nordic Beasts, not Nordic Alphars. We have some Mech Lord stuff, but nothing down here. We did pull a Majestic Dragon, but we do not have a Stardust Dragon, so Majestic Star Dragon is completely useless. We don't have any Synchro Tuner monsters that we can play, so TG Halibird Cannon, unfortunately, is useless as well, because that would be a fantastic, amazing card to play. So basically, our only hope here is that Patrick also did not pull enough playable Synchros to be able to steamroll us. This could be over very quickly if Patrick pulled any consistent strategy whatsoever. But that's what I love about draft mode most is the fact that this is a complete hot and utter mess and makes every match interesting. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so this is what we'll be bringing to today's duel. I got five black wings. That's nice. <laughs> I, I do like having Elf and the Raven here because I can just normal summon him if I do manage to stick a Blackwing on the field, which is not impossible. So, y you know, I, I could definitely do that. Regardless, aside from that, I am really looking to just beat down James and keep him off of cards off the field. There's not a really good way for cards to stick. Um, especially if you're just dealing with a lot of these tuners, like level 3s and so on. Like, you're not going to have a really good sticking. So I've got these cards, I've got Junk Blader and I've got Mech Lord that are 1800 point beaters. If I get Junk Blader on here and I have Junk Servant in my hand, I can do a special summon now I've got two cards on the field. Keep James off of uh, advantage the next turn, then I can tribute both of them for my Earthbound Immortal. That'd be actually really freaking sick, and then I just basically win off of that. Alternatively, I do have Blackwing F Elfin, so I can always get him out on the field and maybe a tuner and try to go into some of these bigger monsters down here. I don't see that happening. It's definitely possible. Is it likely? Uh, probably not. So it would be nice, like, if I were able to get um, him out here and then maybe one of these other tuners over here or something like that out on the field, like Twilight Rose Knight, for example. That's eight. I think I can go into eight synchro. So we'll see. It's not very likely. And if, in case I need to switch into something else, like if I need more tuners, I can always go into here. Trap Eater's only available in case he's playing face-up trap cards. So then I can actually just special summon a 1900 point beater. This is just going to be beat down, I, I'm predicting. Either it's going to be beat down or James has actual synchro monsters he can summon. If he has actual synchro monsters he can summon, I lose. Um, I think I just straight up lose here. 
but I do have a couple situational stuff in here, and uh, you'll see it come into play in case it needs to. Aside from that, I mean, it's just, I'm just trying to keep some kind of resource on the field at a time. I mean, I can always grace for revival into a level two or lower, so Evil Thorn, for example, I can do that and try to get that into my graveyard, special summon that into attack position, and then just sack over it for Elfin, and now I have a level six on the field. We're off to the races. This is not going to go fairly well for me, I'm, I'm expecting. We will see how well it goes, but I don't have high hopes. I think this is a, a game where I just need to sit back and just try to just go with a simple strategy, try to keep advantage on the field, and then just maintain tempo. Not try to go into big plays or anything like that, just try to keep at least one card on the field every turn so that I can roll into something bigger. So we'll see how well that works, and I'll catch you guys in the duel. All right, James, here we are yet again. Uh, how are you feeling about today's match? You know, I uh, I pulled everything I could have possibly wanted. I'm really thinking that I'm just going to completely smash right through here. I'm going to get uh, Red Dragon Archfiend on the field, probably turn two or three, and just kind of blow, blow through you right there. I mean, I'm just... I'm surprised that you got Red Dragon Archfiend with me. I didn't. I, really, I didn't, unfortunately. Oh. I do have a deck in real life revolving around Red Dragon Archfiend. I have I have a question, James, because I don't know very much about these synchros, yeah. but is a Red Dragon Archfiend any good? It, it was back then. I mean, it's not, like, terrible now. It's playable, but it's not good. Okay. I, I was I have a deck built around... Is it, Scarlet, is it good in Red this Dragon format? Archfiend? What's that? Is it good in this format? Like, yeah. if I were to play it, would I probably win? Probably. All right, well, then let's get into the duel. I want to see how this goes. Oh, that's concerning. <laughs> this is... Nice, uh, nice rock there, buddy. Aha. Nice paper. <laughs> just, I, I actually do kind of want to go, so I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> All right. Uh, your, your side, de your extra deck is a little bit smaller than mine. I will say. It, it is. It is. Are we still going with the draw first rule, by the way? Um, was that a rule at the time of Synchro Era? Uh, I don't know when they got rid of it. Now <laughs> uh, you can go ahead and do draw first. I don't really care. All right. We, we make our own rules here at Night Mal. We're telling Konami yeah. how they should actually be playing the game. Um, All right. What uh, oh what boy. do you have? That's a good question. Um, I'm actually going to have to count the number of stars on all my cards now. Yeah, you are. I'll set one and pass. Okay. All right. So you're setting and passing, which tells me that... You want to stay on tempo. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set a card. And I'm going to normal summon Mechlord Army of Weisel. Okay. Can you accept this card once per turn? It's not, the effect is basically not going to matter. <laughs> okay. But if it attacks a defense position monster, I inflict piercing battle damage. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I'm going to attack this card. What is it? Fortunately, it's not destroyed once per turn. Unfortunately, okay. I take 1,200 points of damage. All right. Take your take your damage. Uh, main two, I guess I'll end here so we can see if you're going to bring out a Synchro Monster. I'm not. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then, uh, what? Well, that's fairly interesting, I will say. That. I was expecting a synchro just to be flying out of your hand. Sorry, I had to read that card. It's a wall of text. Like, I'm playing Super Heavies all over again. What, my card? No, the one of the cards in my hand. Oh. I'm going to Tribute Summon. Are you? For Kogarashi the Wanderer. Okay. Let's see. Where do I want to go from here? Okay. I don't know where you want to go from here. Okay, I'm not gonna be synchro summoning him <laughs> this turn, so. Well, I figured you can't. You, can. you literally can't. You need another card. So I'm going to special summon Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind. Oh, you are? Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna use his effect to target Mechlord Army of Weissel, cut its attack in half. Okay, so it's a 900. Yeah. Battle phase, I will attack it with Gale. Um, let me hold on one second. You know, that's pretty rough. I literally, I had an amazing uh, <laughs> play next turn, and I was not expecting you to be able to special a Gale out here. Indeed. So that's 400 for you, and then another 2300. 
Uh, changing Destiny. I'm going to activate Changing Destiny. Okay. You get to choose whether or not you want to gain life points equal to half of your, uh, basically half of 2300, or if you want me to take half damage. And then you also turn change this to a defense position. Equal to half of its attack, or your opponent takes half. Yes, and you change that to defense position. Uh, and I can't change it for how long? Uh, and if you do change the well, it's face up on the field. position while it's on face up on the field. So what do you want? Do you want to gain life points or do you want me to lose life points? I'm going to have you take 1150. Okay. I'll take 1150. That is fine with me. Um. Okay, that goes away and I'll end my turn. Sounds good. All right, so I need to somehow get over your nonsense there. Um, I mean, do you have a monster, basically? Because 1300 is not very high. Also, uh, changing destiny goes away. Oh, yes. I, well, yeah, 1300 is not very high, you're correct. But the question is, what do I want to play? You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I think I just go with, st obviously stand by me, right? Yeah. I think I just go with... We here at Nightmow don't actually care card. about phases. Oh, you actually got a Nordic just, Beast. Okay. Uh, I'll take it out for 300, then. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, see, so my plan was I was going to... I'm hoping to stick Mechlord and then bring this guy out and Synchro Summon off for an, uh, for a 8-star. Uh, do you have so. any of the... Uh, uh, do you have Thor? Thor is the one with Nordic Beasts. Uh, I mean, I have an 8-star monster. I don't think it's a Thor, though. Okay. Well, because <laughs> uh, I, I, I'll say this right now. I got Thor, okay. but I got all Alphars, no Nordic Beasts, so I can't play. <laughs> I don't know what any of that means, but okay, sounds good. I'll pass it over to you. <laughs> it's a good oh, chat gosh. note, or the, the, everyone watching knows what it means, because they're all Yu-Gi-Oh experts, far better than us, far better yeah. than we could ever hope to be. That and that's not right. an exaggeration. Okay. We're really bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this. Uh, I think I think this duel is gonna show how bad we are. <laughs> Oh my god. So I'm gonna go with this just because I really need to keep monsters off of your field. I'm gonna summon Rose Witch. Okay. And I'm gonna crash. Alright, that's fine with me. Go ahead. This is actually not a bad idea. I'm gonna go ahead and set this card. Okay. Face down and end my turn. Alright, I will draw. I will set. That 1600 point defense monster is a lot more of a problem than you imagine. <laughs> no, I totally get it because um, there's not a whole lot of strong monsters in this set. No, there is not. Normal not normal deck, no, our main not. deck monsters. There's a ton of crazy extra deck monsters, but if you can summon them. Okay, let's see here. So that actually, you not doing anything that turn actually opens a lot of... Yeah, unfortunately, uh, I didn't have anything... That I, I have a very similar problem that you do. I don't have anything that could reliably get over, like, a 500 defense point monster in my hand. What is this? Okay. I have to count now, which is a problem. Let's see how that's, many that's my specialty. Four. Okay, so that's, that's seven. <laughs> um, okay, well, I mean, that works. That's strong, at least. <laughs> All right. I think I'm doing this right, and you can correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip summon Gimir of the Nordic Beasts. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm going to normal summon Twilight Rose Knight, which is a tuner, level 3 specifically. Yeah. I'm going to synchro these off for a Lightning Warrior. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, well, I'll make sure I'm doing that right. Uh, I've never synchro summoned before in my life. This is the first synchro summon I've ever performed. See, Lightning Warrior the battle is phase. nice because he's he's a generic tuner or he's a generic yes. synchro. I'm also gonna set a back row yeah, by the fine. way before I go into that thing, just for a little bit of protection. Anyway, uh, I will you try to beat over your literally Kuga could Rush. not have any protection in any, in any way, shape, or form by placing my card uh, this turn. Well, okay. uh, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, you take 300 uh, times 3, so that's 900. Oh, for each card yeah. in my hand. Yeah, for each card in your hand. Oh, that's 3,000. Um, yeah, you don't want to take 3,000, buddy. Um, you also only... You took... Okay, whatever. Anyway, um, I think you did the wrong math there, but... 300, 300, 300. I took... Okay, you already did a 300 before. Yeah, okay. that was from gotcha. your uh, other Nordic Beasts from my Blackwing. Got it. Um... <laughs> Keep up, okay, Patrick. Keep up. <laughs> 
I, it's hard, man. Um, all right, sounds good. So what you got here, buddy? Can you get over my lightning warrior? Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I never thought I would get an actual synchro monster on the field. That was not never my plan. <laughs> um, oh, I but I'm excited to see him. I misplayed. <laughs> did Pass. you miss? How did you misplay? What? Okay. Hand traps, my okay, friend. Okay, stand by main. I'm gonna go ahead and activate a synchro blast wave and just target that. Yeah, target one monster. Target one monster you control and destroy the target. To grave effect from hand. Okay. Special summon. Grinnell. What the heck? Okay, when a face-up monster you can you control, it's not face-up. Oh, I didn't see the face-up part. All right, so all that thinking was for nothing. Put Grinnell back in your hand. All right, all right, all right. I'll take 20, well, plus whatever you're going to summon. Uh, Oh, yeah, I can still summon something. <laughs> I need to stop talking. <laughs> you need to really not talk. Um, I'm actually just going to set a card. This turn, I, I don't want to. I want to keep it in defense position because the defense is way higher than its attack. Oh, uh, a little attack here, and, go, and just do the twenty-four then. Thanks for reminding me. I can still summon this turn. That's what I'm here for, bud. <laughs> oh my god, this game is so bad. I'm winning with a lightning warrior. <laughs> I mean, you summoned from the extra deck. It's basically yeah, really. what it boils down to. Um, I'm gonna sack over for a. Uh, Elfin, the Raven, um, battle, attack. Yep, flip can't be destroyed by battle once per turn. Okay, that's one per turn, right? Yes. All right, well so then I'll attack with grave. the grave, and then take 900. Yes. Um, okay, also, Lightning Warrior's effect. Response to its destruction, Nordic Relic Leviathan. Uh, Leviathan, whatever. I destroyed a mo monster by battle this turn. Destroy it. Cards and effects cannot be active. Yeah, okay. Goodbye Sounds to your good. lightning warrior. Uh, it's fine. I still have Elfin on the field. Which yes, you do, nice. which is a problem. But, well, it's a problem considering that if I get, you know, maybe a level 3 tuner or a level 2 tuner out there, then I can uh, bring forth a level 8. Yeah. <laughs> I would need to get one of those, though, and I don't know if I have them in my deck. I'm going to normal summon Junk Synchron. Effect okay. to special you can summon. Target. Okay, sure. Special summon that target in defense position, but negates effects. I only have one target, and that would be tuning wear. Okay. Um. Alright, can you go into level four here? I don't have any uh, level four synchros. Do you have any level fives? It doesn't matter. Tuning wear's effect is negated. Oh! That's sad. Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and normal summon mm -hmm. a Junk Blader. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And I'm going to special summon a Junk Servant. <sighs> yeah. I believe that this will be game. Uh, I will attack for 500. Um, I'm going to send Barrier Resonator from my hand to the graveyard. Okay. It can uh, targeting Junk Synchron. It cannot be destroyed by battle this turn, and I take no damage from battles involving it. Sounds good. I will then attack this guy. Yep. And take him out. Okay. So. All right. Well. <laughs> yeah, that would have been great to see a long time ago. Anyway, um. That Junk Synchron is causing me issues. All right. Let's go. <laughs>
Uh, in response, I uh, send it to the grave. I was okay. gonna say, what are you doing in, res- <laughs> in response? First off, cards and effects cannot be activated in response to this card's activation. First of all, in response, goes to the grave. <laughs> um, wow, that was uh, interesting. Okay, your move. So I'm gonna get Myth Lord Army of Skill out here. Okay. Okay. Battle phase, attack for 12. Go. For- I, I'll take. I will take that. That is fine with me. Okay, yep. that's all I got. All right, that's fine with me. Stand by main. I'm gonna go ahead and normal summon Guildfax. Battle. Uh, Attack. yeah. To grave. Four hundred. Yep. Um, effect to special summon from deck. Okay. Just keep monsters on your side of the field. I like it. I gotta try. Um. Uh, okay. What are you bringing out? Well. The card that's in my side deck. You don't have any other Mechlord monsters? It's in my side deck. I forgot to side it in. Oh, that's just great. <laughs> Sounds good, buddy. Your move. <laughs> oh my god, Jace. <laughs> I lose this duel. Uh, are you sure? I'm 100% sure I lose this duel. Just bring out something in defense position. It's not that bad. Uh, I'm going to normal summon Junk Synchron. Okay. Special summon tuning wear. Okay. And pass. Yes! Yes! I can do it! I can do it! I'm gonna normal summon Garmer of the Nordic Beast. And James, I have enough to go into a level 8. Yes, you do. I'm going to do that. I'm gonna bring forth... Wait, which one do I want? Oh god, they're so good. I mean, that's just stronger. But you have the protection, I know that much. I am going to bring forth uh, well, okay, we were talking about it, so I'm gonna br- I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna bring forth Red Dragon Archfiend. Fair enough. <laughs> There's a level eight. I'm gonna set a card as well. Um, all right, and then uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna bait out your uh, your thing with bubbler by going for Junk Synchron here. My thing in my bubbler. Whatever your def- your your protection was last time, <laughs> or not? Okay, twenty. Take seventeen. Sounds good. Your move. Yep. Yeah, it is. Oh, that was what I was trying to do last time with keeping Mechlord on there and then just bringing out Guildfax. That's, uh... Oh, um, before I end my turn, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna destroy this guy. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna normal summon Barrier Resonator. Battle. I will okay. attack Red Dragon Archfiend. Uh, that's 27. <laughs> to you? Okay. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I was great. gonna say, yeah. Go ahead. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, mm, I guess I can't do I can't do anything in response to your barrier. Okay, all I'm gonna bring out I'm gonna run out uh, this guy, and uh, actually, yeah, stand by main. Uh, battle. I will attack with Red Dragon Archfiend for. <laughs> yeah. You pulled wow. so much better than I did. You want to see? The- are you kidding me? I did not pull better. What are you? T- I just had synchros. Okay, bro, bro, my pulls were garbage. Dude, my I had I pulled one good garbage. card. I pulled one girl good card, and it's this one. <laughs> oh, you pulled Max C? I pulled Max C. Didn't see it once. I had one playable synchro, and it was Junk what Destroyer. Was that? I had okay. one Junk Synchron, the only thing able to bring it out. Fair enough. Um, and then my only so... other good card <laughs> was this, which requires two freaking tributes. I have that card too. I literally have that card in my hand. I was trying to bring it out multiple times. Did you just not pull anything that had any attack damage? Uh, no. No, I didn't. Wow. Uh, 1,600 was the highest. Well, okay, so I have this. It's 1,900. And it can... I have that too. <laughs> but you didn't ever have any face-up attack. Uh, no, there's like traps. there's like no face-up traps in the whole game. Yeah. <laughs> Except for, well, there. I have that. Could have activated but it. I never, I never, I never could have because the only ones that would have uh, it would have gone off of would be my evil thorn. Or, uh, or this card. So, I will say, Grinnell is actually a pretty good card, but its summoning conditions are extremely restricted. So, as you'll notice, you would have to pop by card, destroy, by card effect, one of my face-up monsters. 
to yes. so and the only card that you had that was doing that obviously there there are synchro effects that do that um, but was synchro wave blast or synchro blast wave yeah and the reason that I was thinking so much was because it comes out like this it's a zero zero attack monster oh my god yes. you have scrap iron scarecrow you dude <laughs> yeah I do have, that's when you're like there's not very much protection I'm like there is I also have oh, this yeah too. yeah no I there was a zero percent chance though the only way i won this I... week was if you bricked so hard <laughs> that my shitty pulls were able to overcome I, I didn't get like any any playable black wings though like that's what i was focused on because you mentioned because like I, i'm not super familiar with this set and you mentioned that um we have you had effect veiler too dude <laughs> did you miss i said i had got this too oh my god <laughs> james is so mad yeah, because uh, my pulls suck, man. You're gonna run right over me as we're talking before recording. <laughs> Effect Veiler, playable synchro <laughs> monsters. Okay, okay, okay. Red Dragon Archfiend. I did also grab just completely. The reason my my things look so thick is I literally just have unplayable shit in here. <laughs> like I've got this, which is really cool. I have that too. I've got this. Like that. none of that works. None of this play is is playable. I don't. I can't. I have this. I can't play either. So, like, I had a little bit of a, another strategy my side deck, depending on how many spell traps you had, but I just never, like, I didn't feel threatened by them. Oh, so, so you're like, like, oh, you've got all this, blah, 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 blah. I had Urgent Tuning, which allows me to Synchro on your turn, and Roar of the Earthbound Immortal, which doesn't matter unless I have an, immor uh, with, unless I have an Earthbound Immortal on my side of the field. Uh, uh, well, I mean, you would have. <laughs> yeah? Well, that... so anyway, Grinnell, I like Grinnell because... If I can get... What does he do? So, on once per turn, I can grab one of your Synchro Monsters, equip it to sure. Grinnell. Grinnell then gains the attack of your Synchro Monster plus half of my life points. And then I can okay. unequip your Synchro Monster and summon it on my side of the field. That's pretty intense. It's very good, except for the fact that... The only time I, he's going to be getting out is during your turn, so I have to do it preferably when you have no more attacks left. And yeah. it can't, the effect can't go off during the damage step. It can't be special summoned by other ways, and it cannot be normal summoned or set. The only yeah. way that it was going off, based on the cards that I'm seeing here, is if you activate Synchro Blast Wave in your main phase two. Which I did do. Which you did do end. in the last game, but I did not have yeah. Grinnell in my hand. Let's see, what else? So the other things that I had here, um, so like the other strategies that I could have played, James, is so I've got Violet Witch here. So I can, if you destroyed this, like if I set this card and you destroyed it, then um, I could just bring out Evil Thorn. And that was like literally it. <laughs> so um, you did notice, by the way, your Earthbound Immortal requires a spell, uh, field spell to be on the field. Yeah, I didn't have any. <laughs> I did, I had one. Yeah, so I was kind of hoping that you would have brought one out and then, uh, like, I could have played it. That's why I wasn't, like, focused on my Earthbound Immortal, uh, outside of maybe, I don't know, shenanigans. But, like, my Junk Servant and, uh, and this guy would have been a really good one-two combo because I can just bring him out here, bring out the other guy, and then, like, let's say, like, I'm able to clear your field with that. And then, let's say you just take out the Junk Servant, that's fine, because then I can just bring out, hopefully, one of my tuners, which is what I did and then synchro off or something. Yeah, you had a so. ton more synergy and you had more playable extra deck cards and you had better extra deck cards. I was surprised. And you had better spells and traps, way better spells. Like the only thing that I got over you is Maxi and Grinnell and Grinnell is way too, way, way, way too yeah. difficult to bring out. All right, well, James, I, I had fun and for my first real foray into Synchro Summoning. I mean, I'm getting glad, buddy. a Synchro Monster out. When you said Red Dragon Archfiend, I was, like, literally pooping my pants because I was, I was like, determined to bring that out. Uh, and I'm glad that I was able to do that just to, like, dump it on the field and show it to you. Yeah, I know. Red Dragon Archfiend is pretty good. I, I really do wish I had been able to pull off anything with the Max C. Or if I could have uh, gotten off Grinnell's effect, that would have been... That would have been icing on the cake, and I, th I think that's a game-winning effect right yeah, there. But that a hundred percent. I mean, I think you could have won, but I just think that like the, the draws did not favor. It. Winning required for you. You would have had to brick. I, I would have had to brick, and I would have to play directly into your hand. But mm -hmm. anyway, regardless, uh, if you guys like the series, I have. I'm still behind by one, right? 
Or no, I'm up by You're one. You're up now, by one. Because I won. F uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but we'll see if that if that trend holds. I mean, I do do better at Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes. So. Yes. Please do like, subscribe, check out the rest of the content on the channel, and have a great rest of your week. Have a good week, guys.